One of the world's most beautiful actresses shocked the world, revealing she had a double mastectomy to prevent breast cancer. Angelina Jolie said she decided to get the surgery after learning she carried a gene that significantly raises her risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Her admission has prompted a national discussion on breast cancer and whether Jolie's choice is a real option for most women. Fox 5's Misha DeBono joins us now with details about the genetic testing and who should get it. Yeah, it's a very simple blood test and it'll detect if you are a carrier of what's called BRCA1 and BRCA2. It's basically a gene mutation that significantly raises the risk of breast, ovarian cancer, and other cancers as well. Now, if you have immediate family history with breast or ovarian cancer, doctors say you may want to be tested, but they warn it's a very rare occurrence. Um, so once again, Angelina Jolie stunning all of her fans the world over saying that she got this double mastectomy and um, we spoke to a woman here today who also has had that procedure as well as a hysterectomy. Uh, she did it about a year ago. She accidentally found out that she tested positive for uh, this genetic defect. Interesting point here though, she got it from her father, not her mother. She um, underwent the surgery, which is not the only option. You can also just be tested throughout because it's not a guarantee that you're going to get cancer, but it does increase your um, your likelihood of getting cancer in some women like Angelina Jolie up to 87 percent. She had the procedure. She now has less than 5 percent chance. And uh, here is her story. Angelina Jolie stuns the world in a New York Times op-ed piece announcing she's undergone a preventative double mastectomy to reduce her risk of breast cancer. She says she opted for the surgery after learning she's a carrier of an inherited gene mutation called BRCA1. Typically, according to the National Cancer Institute, there's a 60% chance of developing breast cancer. They were crying, you know, so I was definitely like, okay, I'm going to have this done and just sort of like weepy. And definitely right before I went in for the hysterectomy, I had a moment, you know, holding Rob's hand. Diane Zepps found out she's a carrier of the BRCA1 gene by accident. She opted for a double mastectomy and hysterectomy a year ago. My first concern was the ovarian cancer because that's so hard to detect. For me, it took out the worry. So I'm, you know, the chances of me getting breast cancer are less than 5%. BRCA1 and 2 are cancer susceptibility genes. Actually, less than 1% of women in the United States are carriers. It's usually inherited from the mother, but not always. My mother had breast cancer. She was tested and was tested negative. So we thought, okay, I don't need to worry about it. But obviously it was on my father's side. We recommend testing for women for the BRCA1 or 2 gene if there are two first-degree relatives, such as a mother, sister, or daughter who have had breast cancer. A simple blood test will tell if you're carrying the gene, but it's not something that everybody should get. I don't think it's something that everyone should worry about, but if there's an extensive family history of breast ovarian cancer, it may be a good idea to get one of these studies done. She's the poster child for this type of operation. I mean, she's uh, in her mid-30s, she's had her kids, and she has BRCA1. Paul Chazen is a Del Mar plastic surgeon. He performed the reconstructive surgery on Diane. He says mastectomy no longer means scars and disfigurement. The techniques in plastic surgery have improved and we've refined the techniques to a point that really sometimes you cannot tell the difference between someone with a mastectomy and somebody just had breast augmentation. And that genetic test is covered by most insurance company as is the surgery to both remove the breast tissue and reconstructive surgery afterward. But again, it's a very rare occurrence, not something that all women should be worried about. Less than 1% of women here in the U.S. But still bravo to Angelina Jolie for talking about this very private decision openly. Kathleen, we'll send it back to you. And every mother understands that you'll do anything to be around for your children. All right, Misha DeBono, thank you for that.